When you're making bread, the whole thing is not quite finished unless you have that beautiful golden shiny top, right? Problem is, the only way to get that is through an egg wash. And as vegans, you can't really use that. So how are we supposed to do it? If you Google it, you're probably gonna get a whole list of different things that could be used, from vegan butter to coconut oil, plant milk. Does any one of them actually work or works better than the others? That's what we're gonna find out today on the Curious Cat Bakery Test Kitchen. I'm gonna try four of the most popular egg washes completely vegan and seeing which one works best. Let's do this. So the egg washes we're gonna be trying out today are coconut oil, aquafaba, plant milk, and a mix of plant milk and agave. Let's give them a try and see what works best. First up, we have just plain almond milk. Out of all the plant milks, I prefer to use almond milk for all my baking. Non-flavored, original, no sugar added, just plain almond milk. Next up is aquafaba, or best known as that gross kind of water that's in the chickpea can. I guess we know what I'm having for dinner today. Then we have coconut oil. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds so that it's liquid, I can brush it on the croissant. And finally, we have the mix that I've been using all along, which is two tablespoons of plant milk and one teaspoon of agave. Okay, looking at them side by side like this, I think we can all agree they all look golden, they all look crispy, they all look shiny. So, they're all exactly the same. Time for the taste test to figure out if the taste is affected by any of the egg washes. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Okay, first up is this is just almond milk. And this is the plant milk and agave mix. So this is the one I usually do, and I know it tastes really good. I've eaten way too many of them as I also bake them for you guys. The plant milk and agave mix definitely has a little bit of a sweetness to it, obviously because of the agave, and I prefer that to just the plain milk. This one is the aquafaba one. It's definitely lost some of its crispiness. Like, it's not as crispy as the other guys. In terms of the taste, it's not like you can taste the aquafaba, but it definitely took away that crispiness from the top of the croissant, which is you know, part of what makes a croissant kind of amazing. So the aquafaba, not so great. Now the coconut oil one, I think this might be the crispiest of them all, which totally makes sense, right? You're rubbing oil over something and then putting it in the oven. It gets crispy. Oh gosh, this is like food porn. Such a beautiful thing. I don't taste it. I don't taste the coconut oil. It definitely made it crispier. It also made it, unsurprisingly, a little more oily. If you're, if you like your croissants extra crispy, this might be the way to go. Okay, so after trying all four vegan egg washes, the conclusion is that the aquafaba is not such a great option. The whole thing deflated after a while, it became dull, and it definitely didn't add a crispy factor to it in the end. The coconut oil definitely gave it a very crispy finish, but it got a little bit oily, so if you are gonna use that, be careful so you don't make the whole thing a big oily mess. As for plant milk and plant milk with agave, I personally prefer still using the one with agave. It gave it a little bit of a sweetness to it that just made it so good. But if you don't have agave or maple syrup lying around, go with just the plant milk. It still had the crispy factor to it. It still had the golden color. It was a pretty darn good egg wash replacement. I hope this video helped you and is gonna make your vegan bakes even better. Make sure you tag me in your photos if you make anything with any of these egg washes and tell me how it turned out. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Keep sending me your vegan baking questions and if you have anything that you want me to try out in the test kitchen, send it my way, put it in the comments. In the meantime, keep baking and stay curious. Crumbs everywhere. No regrets, guys. No regrets. Totally worth it. Thank you.